Hi guys, sorry I jumped on a bit bit late, just been a bit hectic trying to um, get on. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, it's um, quite busy at the moment. There's a lot of things going on and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I just booked another um, venue today. So Traugan is um, up and running. Um, I'm gonna be at Traugan on the 26th. I've also got a new venue, Caroline Springs. I'm just looking at my calendar now. Oh, Fountain Gate, Taylor's Lakes. So I've got a workshop coming up next month, so I'm pretty busy. So next week, or oh, next two weeks. Good, how are you going, Savannah? Yeah, going good. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it's um, been pretty hectic and busy, and I did a show you this week at Fountain Gate, which was um, awesome. Loved um, going back there. It's um, This light's quite bright at the moment, so sorry to apologise. And um, yeah, it was like I was saying, Fountain Gate was awesome. It was um, sold out and yeah, had a really good time and met um, a lot of people. And I just want to share a story with you. I can't believe this actually happened, but um, a lady did specifically come and it was towards the end of the night to actually connect to a dog. And um, I actually connected to this dog and um, she said to everyone, I actually came just to connect to her. And it was just amazing. And the people out there were just awesome. How does this work? I'm new to this. Hi Amanda, how are you going? Just sit back, look at um, some people. Um, you can ask me um, any questions basically, like how I started or anything after, after the afterlife. Um, I'll try and connect to, um, if, if I connect to your question, I will. But yeah, I just um, touching base with everyone and um, yeah, giving my time as uh, like I like and I, and I love doing this as well and reaching out to as many people as possible. But um, like I was saying, yeah, Founder Gate was an awesome night and um, yeah, had reads as well and met fantastic people. And it's just, um, like I was saying, Traugan, we've got that up and running at the moment. So um, the 26th, we've got to advertise that. Um, so it's, yeah, it's busy, busy, busy. Just booked a private session with you, can't wait. Thanks, Melissa, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I've got privates tomorrow as well. So um, yeah, looking forward to that and um, yeah, um, hi Judy, how are you going? Cool, excuse me. Yeah, probably, um, as I was saying in September, I'm probably going to be doing two shows a week, so it's going to um, be quite quite busy um, then as well. Also, my, um, hello Alex from Melbourne, how are you going? My daughter and myself smell cigarette smoke. Just wondering if you can see anyone around me. Hi, Amanda. Um, I get a um, f father figure or a grandfather figure for you. And um, this is coming through very, very um, strong. So that's where the cigarette smell or the smoke smell is coming from as well. Hi Sonia, my friends brought you to my attention. Okay, thank you, I right, appreciate that. And look guys, the, the support has just been amazing and I just wanna say um, thank you to everyone, even after the show and the reads, people were just contacting me saying thank you very much and look, all I do is I don't, and I was saying to um, someone that um, came the other night, I'm not here to turn non-believers into believers, it's just basically I wanna share my gift and um, pass on messages and th that's what I basically do. I've been here in Melbourne for two years now and um, I just basically started up the business from scratch and it's been um, great and fantastic and a lot of people supporting me and and you know what, it's just I left the business in WA to come out here and it's going good so um, yeah, um, someone said, do I do private reads? Yes, I do. Please hop on my page and have a look um, and you can inbox me as well. Hey Patricia, pretty please, any guidance? Uh, at the moment, what I feel with yourself is, um, I feel that you're really stuck and you're not trusting within in yourself and it's like you're scared. It's like you're scared to dip your um, feet in, in the water and um, it's all about um, confidence and that's that's what you need to um, start believing in as well because it's like the world has stopped or you've just stopped. I never knew my father, I now have a son, does he see him and I? The answer to that um, question is that our loved ones do spend time uh, with our kids and it doesn't matter if the grandparents or your dad or anyone has a mentor, they still do, they still come around as well. So. 
um, your dad will be um, definitely around and all even loved ones will be around as well. So where is your website, please? Yep, go to uh, my website, so it's denisstokevich.com. You can go there or you can go onto my page, you can be um, inbox and if you're inquiring about a read or any of my sessions, everything's on there as well. And you can have a look at videos on, on my website and also um, on my personal page that I've got up here at the moment. Just want to touch base uh, and I talked about like my personal breakthrough workshops and they are filling up. I don't have too many spots left and it's amazing because it's it's not until the 2nd of September and I appreciate all those people that have put their names down and inquiring about it as well and it is filling up fast which is, um, yeah, like I said, I haven't got much spots left. So Thanks Anna for sharing. There's quite a few people on here tonight. I've been doing them on Sundays, so basically just testing out what's a good night to do them. Friday, um, I just did it on, on Sunday as well. A lot of, um, do you do readings over the phone? Yes, I do, Sue. So um, I do um, phone readings, and definitely Perth is a beautiful, why did you move? The reason being, yeah, I lived um, two hours south of Perth, which is um, a beautiful area like the Margaret River and um, the wineries and breweries and that. So the reason I left is to build this business over here and establish it in, in Melbourne just because um, there's more people and I just, I've always had a pool and um, over this, this side of the way and um, came to see you a few years ago in Perth when mum died, but you couldn't tell me a lot. She said, would do a better read after six months. Hi, Heather, how you going? Yes, if I can't read people as well, um, I'm upfront and honest and I'll, I'll tell them as well. Um, you know what, sometimes I uh, always say wait for four to six months to pass. Sometimes I connect with people. Um, hey Shannon, how you going? Yes, yeah, so I usually tell people to come um, after. It really depends what's happening in your life as well. I've also connected with a baby that's only past 24 hours. It really depends. Um, it's out of my control what comes through and it's like any medium or uh, or any um, psychic out there. It's it's out of, out of our controls and that's what I um, say as well. Shelby, I was very impressed on Tuesday night how accurate your readings were. Was a little disappointed no one came through for me, but I definitely came come again or get a personal reading. Thanks, Shelby. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I loved you guys out there on um, Tuesday night. It was, it was an awesome night. And, um, you know, it's, I was saying on the night, it's not about if your loved one doesn't um, want to, they don't love you and they don't want to come and see you. It's it's what happens and, um, and and it's energy and it's out of my control. And that's um, and that's the way I always say and I'm upfront and honest about it as well. So hope you all, all you guys have had a um, good week. It's um, for me, it's been hectic and it still is. And like I said, um, with a lot of shows coming up and um, there's so much work to be done. And um, my wife Renee does a lot, so I appreciate that as well as myself. And um, yeah, it's just um, it's just crazy. Thanks for jumping on tonight, guys. As well, really appreciate it. Hi Zach, do I need a picture for a reading? Uh, no, you don't. Uh, I don't operate with um, pictures. It's basically when you come for a reading with myself, it's, you, you sit there and um, I, I read whatever um, comes to me as well. So it's um, some some people prefer pictures, some people um, prefer jewelry, or but um, with myself, it's just I, I just read what comes through for um, for myself as well. Tracy, hi Dennis, I can't make Thursday at Preston. Will you be at Preston any other months this year? Uh, Preston, that will probably be your, I'm just looking at my calendar here. I probably won't be back for another few months there. So do get your tickets if you want to come to that show. The last two have been um, um, sellouts there, so it's been great. So um, like I said, I'm pretty um, busy in September, so I probably won't be out there till um, November time. So um Sorry to tell you that, Tracy, but yeah, it's just a busy schedule at, at the moment. So, hi, Marianne, how are you going? Also, on um, September the tenth, there's um, it's suicide um, prevention, and, and um, beautiful lady is holding a walkout in if you're in the Melbourne area. Um, do you come to Mornington Peninsula? 
I'm thinking of going that way. I'm actually looking at a um, a venue in Cranbourne, and I'm looking at um, Mornington as well. So uh, I will be, um, no worries, Sue, that's okay. Do you come to Bendigo? No, I haven't gone um, that far as well, so yes. Not a problem, Debbie. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm going to um, turn away so... Um, yeah, I don't read these messages because you get um, caught up in it like I did last time. So I do apologise. But that um, walk is um, something very special um, to um, Borbo and to everyone else that's going to be there on the day as well. So if you can, it's um, Hope Walk. And um, you know what? It's bring a picture of your loved one that you pass through suicide and everyone's going to be there like uh, and they're in the same boat as well. So that's something that I'm really um, pushing out there for her and for everyone else. So... Um, it's very um, tough. I even had an email today from a dad that's lost his son and he's um, still grieving. And it's look, it's it's one of the hardest things, and that's why I love and, and enjoy what I do as well. And you know what? You're not going to please everyone, and you're not. But um, that's something that I've been learning over the years because it's like me. I want to give 110 percent, but you can't always do that, and you're not going to um, please somebody. And you know what? That was my learning over the years of um, doing this as well, and and just. You can only do what you can, and that's why I just go with an open mind, and that's what you need to go in life, and everybody's on a journey, and this is um, my journey and something that I really choose to do, and um, it's like I've walked, tried to walk away in um, doing this, but um, I, it's like I get dragged back, and, and you know what? It's about helping people, and, and that's one thing that I've always wanted to do, and, and, and that's what it's about. So, Megan, do you believe in angels? I always say... Um, I always say to people, you believe in what you believe in and because that's what gets us through life. Everybody's got different beliefs and um, I believe in like um, um, spirits and our loved ones are around and, and that's what um, I believe in as well. So, uh, Hey Brooke, good question. How long before someone has passed do they come through? Like I was saying earlier, it takes, um, look, some people say wait four to six months. The reason being is it lets them um, settle and do what they need to do on the um, other side. And like I, like I was saying earlier, I've connected with a baby that's passed 24 hours. So it really depends if they want to come through, they come through and it's out of my control. So, uh, and um, and that's what, what I say to a lot of people. It's look, a lot of people come to me and when they were in the privates and I connect with their loved ones, they said, oh, they've only gone two months, a month. And I'm like, wow, okay. Uh, so it's really out of my control. Hi Maria, how are you going? Amanda, why do they hang around? Well, our loved ones hang around because they want to um, let us know that they're okay and they're fine. And um, they'll try and pass on messages um, through like music, energy, like they'll play with lights. Uh, they'll also, um, if you see a number plate with their initials, and that's the reason why, or sometimes when you're really down, they'll, they'll come around and just to say, hey, I'm okay, and um, I'm around as well, and, and, and they'll um, support you and guide you as much as possible as well. Hi, Gwyneth, how are you going? There's a big um, WA base out at the moment, like a lot of people jumping on and um, from WA and I'm looking to come over there and to do a few shows so um, Julie after my son died your ad kept the, coming up on my phone and still does is the first thing that I see I hear it all the time Julie a lot of people come um, come and say you just kept um, popping up popping up and that's um, the reason being is your loved ones are like pushing and pushing that message and um, that, that's what um, happens and um, and that's what they do is so like I said they, they come through um, hi Kim how you going yeah they come through just got my tickets to see you thanks Marlene I appreciate it hi Simone how you going um, the first thing that I get with you and I just looked at your name is your mum and dad I feel like your mum and dad's passed and um, I don't know if it's their wedding anniversary or anniversary in um, I keep getting um, March and they keep coming through and they need to say hi. So both of your parents are coming through. And they also show me a red rose as well. Um, Philomena, good to hear you visiting. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not going to leave Perth out. So um, I, I, I don't want to do that. And, um, yeah, I just 
like uh, to be honest, I've been fighting with my wife saying, I want to go to WA, I want to go back to WA and do shows and um, something that I'm real passionate about and I keep getting pulled over there. So, hey Sharon, how you going? Hey Karina, how you going? Yeah, a lot, a lot of people on here tonight, So, um, which is great and awesome. So, Brooke, seeing 11-11, yes, it does mean something as well. See how you, when your loved one's passed or um, what month as well. So 11-11 could be two, so it could be the month of February. So there's connection that Denise from Wednesday, I'm still putting, oh, okay. That one went really quick. Claire, I'd love to start um, doing spiritual reading soon. Awesome. Yeah, if anyone, um, if you're into that or, or do that as well, it's basically being able to connect with yourself. And what I do is, hey, Amy, how you going? Um, it's it's about um, like meditation and, and controlling the mind, especially doing this as well. You, you've got to try and relax your body and um, really look after yourself because this is, um, it does get quite draining. And um, the biggest thing is is um, drink a lot of water, like I've got here, and you'll notice me um, drink, even when I do shows and reads, and I'm always constantly um, doing um, water, water, drinking water as well. So, Gwyneth, that's not good numbers, 666. Um, that's terrible numbers. But um, the biggest thing is is looking after yourself um, and mentally as well, but it's clearing that mind, and that's what you need to do as well. Pierce, thanks. Thanks guys, it's, um, yeah, thank you for taking your time out on a Friday night and um, jumping on here as well. Um, yeah, to um, be able to watch me do this and um, do a live feed as well. Like I was saying earlier, it's um, I love to be able to um, talk to you guys and um, give my time. And um, I was saying about the personal breakthroughs and the reason why I've done the um, personal um, breakthroughs is that um, over the years of doing this, I've been doing this for 18 years now and I started quite um, young and it's a pattern in life and it's our past fear and emotions. When I say past, it's not our past or afterlife, it's it's our past, it's a childhood age and basically we, we hold that emotion and I always say to people, it's not what you're eating, it's what's eating you and that's why I've um, put this workshop together and, and you know what, it's um, something that I'm really looking forward to and even if you've lost someone or you're going on that, that spiritual journey, this is designed for everyone and it is and um, people get so much out of it as well. So, hey Matt, how are you going? No worries, Claire. Thank you. Not a problem about my time. Um, Sonia, good question. At the venues, how do you select people? So sometimes I'm pulled in that direction. Um, sometimes I'm pulled to that person or I'll stand there and say there's a people in, in, in this area or this row that I'm connecting to or sometimes I'll just um, go straight to that person and, and I get this, um, the energy is just a great um, um, pull around there as well and, and that's how I operate. It's basically I hear, see and feel. So I feel how they pass, I'll say um, see and I'll say hear. And the best way to describe it is is it's like a dream. When you wake up um, from a dream, you're trying to describe that dream. That's how it comes through to me. So, uh, And that's um, what it is as well. Even on, on the night as well, you go in there, you don't know what's going to happen. And um, what sort of meditation music could you recommend? Hi, Brendan. Um, the best thing is, is the one that you connect to because um, there's, there's no point me saying I, this one or, or that one. For me, I just love listening to... Um, um, music and um, basically that just relaxes me and I also try to relax my mind but the meditation stuff you need to um, um, choose what you connect to and that's the biggest thing as well it's the same as this as well you've got to be able to connect with the, with the person that you go to um, and what I mean by is the people that are doing the reads you've got to be able to connect to them and feel comfortable as well um, Jules sorry to hear about your um your dad recently passing away. Um, any messages from them? Thank you. What I always say with um, loved ones is they're always, um, our loved ones wait for us. Um, something that I get with is um, tongue with your dad. I don't know what he had a problem with his tongue, but he's, he's showing me his, his tongue and I'm also getting a T initial and also the month of July and that's coming through very, very strong. Hey, Michelle, how are you going? 
pass on you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys as well. I know there's a lot of people um, coming out to my shows and um, I always say to people like read the reviews, go on and watch my videos. On um, Tuesday night, what I did was I, I did a live feed of um, the show. I, I'll do it from time to time. I'll just go, look, I'll just, and a lot of people, people asking me questions. I don't know how I'm gonna answer you guys because the reason being is I'm out there and I'm doing a show so I'm not gonna be able to answer your um, questions. As well as after this, um, you know, people inbox me, email me, um, send message, messages. I can't um, get to you all. Uh, like I was saying before, it's just there's so many people and I, and I can't and I wish I could read everyone but um, unfortunately I do have a life and I need to spend a week with my family as well and I've got to get ready for to do reads. How do I book a phone reading please? You can go to um, my site or my Facebook page, you can go book now and you can pick your time and date on there as well So um, and, and um, you can go through there. My husband is very stressed, is he going to be all right? The biggest thing is, I say with you, Savannah, is um, he's trying to control things that are out of his control, and um, you can't. Tuesday, Wallace. Hey, man, do you travel to other states? Cheers. Uh, what I'm basically doing is just making my foundation here in, in Melbourne and um, obviously people know me in WA so I will be travelling over there but I'm looking to go to um, Sydney and Brisbane too to do shows so um, like next year is going to be um, quite a big year and um, like it's it's just getting um, busy and busier and um, no worries Silvana that's okay. And yeah so that's what my goal is is to go out there and do um, do shows but I do a lot of phone reads around Australia at the moment. Um, so it's, um, yeah, like I said, it's really, really busy. Sharon, will you come to Melbourne? Um, I actually live in Melbourne. So I am um, in Melbourne. And I, and if you follow my page, um, have a look at there and check um, where the venues are and where I am. Um, but I actually do readings in Narry Warren. So I'm in the southeast of Melbourne and that's where I do my reads from, in, uh, uh, from down there. Uh, Hey Margaret, I just read your um, message then, and unfortunately, like with your mum and loved ones, that they, they will try and get to anything and, and be there as well. Pass away in July, and you are spot on with the other two messages. Thank you very much, Dennis. No worries, Jules. Like I said, if I connect, I'll um, I'll tell you I'm not here. I don't go fishing, or um, it's just basically if I can can, can connect, I'll connect. Uh, Teresa, how long have you been able to do readings, your gifts? So for me, it started out a very, um, uh, who's that, Nessie? And they are the best readings ever. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I've been doing it since I was 17 and I'm 37 now, but I stopped a bit because, you know what, it affected my health and affected my mental health and something that I had to, if you're not 100% or if you're not in it um, physically, then it's very hard to be able to do this because it's very, very draining. And um, you know what, it's um, something that I um, want to be 100% committed to. But um, it started for me when I was three years old and um, it started um, growing from there. And I remember when I was five or six, it basically got... Um, uh, got worse and worse and worse and I was just hearing things so yeah it started for a very um, early age for me hey Teresa uh, hoping to see you again soon hope to see you as well uh, Mary any message from my father he passed nearly five years ago and dearly miss him the first thing that I get with him is he's showing me his teeth and he's also showing me the month of December so um, th that's how he comes through do you feel like you get bombarded from spirits trying to pass on messages as much as we ask to hear from them? Crystal, beautiful. Yes, I do. Um, I just get harassed. And like tonight, I do, um, especially doing the live feed, you just get bombarded with um, um, messages and you can't connect or, or read um, them. And um, even when I do a show, your loved ones come and um, bug me and um, pass on messages. And that's sometimes how I start because it's like the, they want to get this message through. And I do wake up... Um, uh, very very suddenly or uh, they just pass on these uh, messages and they, and they keep me awake so it's, it can be very tiring as well
thanks guys for being on here. I know it's taken up your um, Friday night and stuff, so I really enjoy this. Sorry to hear about your loss, Sharon. And like I said, I deal with a lot of people that um, yeah, are dealing with their loved ones and um, it's it's very, very hard because everybody grieves differently and they do and I can't tell you or anyone can't tell you. It's, it's the way that you, and it's a process as well. Um, today, like I was saying, yeah, we've got another venue, Trialga. I'm looking at Cranbourne. I'm looking at all um, areas around Victoria at the moment. Is it true cats know when someone is around? My cat turns into fluff balls and freak. Yeah, so what happens is with animals, so dogs and cats, they feel energy and they'll feel a loved one around, and they will. And um, they're very, very strong in that in that way as well. And if sometimes the dogs will just bark in a corner or, or look, or even the cats as well, and that means there's there's somebody around. The hug you gave me from Dad Wednesday is still so warming. I needed it. Bless you. No worries. Not a problem at all. And you know what? It's this is why I do what I do. And you know, it's about um, being honest and being true to yourself. And that's how life is. And that's what you. Um, and that's the way I'll go about my reads. All the best from the Max. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for tonight. Not a problem, Amanda. I really appreciate it and being able to um, answer and, and talk to you guys. So, let me always have spirits around me. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to read and, and connect to these uh, messages. So, uh, it's um, a lot of people coming through. Hey Rachel, love your life feeds. Would love a message from my dad or brother. Oh, thank you, Rachel. I really want to try and. Um, uh, hey Jules, how you going? Um, oh, I'm really trying to focus to see um, what they're trying to say, and um, it's what I when I see a single candle, it's an anniversary, and I feel like it's. Um, you're acknowledging their anniversary or their anniversary is near and they're co I'm both coming through very, very strong as well. And someone had a problem with their feet and this is um, how they're coming through. Hey Silvana, um, is your, is my brother getting, going to be all right with his health? What I find like he's um, gets quite anxious and um, he carries his emotional side and, and um, he doesn't let go or he doesn't um, forget and this is what's affecting him as well and he's trying to carry everything and he can't so um, tell him he needs to focus more on himself and not the other problems and issues as well. I'm back again. <laughs> when you send me messages guy, any messages for me, I always say how it always works, it, it's no worries, um, Donna. You, you know, people expect you're a miracle worker and, you, and you're not. Um, you know, the I try to connect with, with people and I try to explain how this works and how it uh, all operates. It's all about energy. And um, if you connect, you can connect. If you can't, you can't. Um, hi, Sandra, how are you going? And the biggest thing is, is like, how, how is my health going to be? How is my life going to be? And um, you know what? The, the biggest thing is, is that you've got to look after yourself and approve of who you are. And um, hey Kim, how are you going? And that's the biggest thing, like our past and, and our present moment is um, controls our future. And if you can't um, control that, then your future isn't, is, is gonna change or the, the outcome isn't gonna come out to what you um, want to do or want to achieve. Because anyone can achieve anything in life and they can. Um, it's only us or the battle that we have in our own heads and that's what it comes down to and you know what I believe in so many people and that's why I do this because it's, people say thank you thank you I don't it's not about thanking me it's it's thanking yourself because you're the one that's been able to do or, or get you to where you need need to get to I'm here just as a as a guidance and um, 
do you mind being recorded during a private um, reading? No, not at all. It's it's something that I encourage, and um, the reason being is you can go away and and um, replay, and you'll pick up things, or even your loved ones will as well. And with connecting to loved ones, is you know people always say to me, what do my loved ones want me to do? What do they want that? It's it's what you want to do because the thing is, is they're okay on the other side. We're not, and you've got it. You're the one that's grieving. You're the one that needs to do what you feel like um, is the right thing for yourself because it's a process for you, and that's what you got to remember. As you told me this week, Thanksgiving, me the focus, not a problem. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay, am I seeing you tomorrow? Beautiful. When. Hey Alexandra, um, when you do reads, do your spirits speak English to you? So basically, um, with Dennis and listen to it over and over. Thanks. Um, see, this is why I can't get caught up in looking at the messages. Like my wife said to me, turn away and stop um, reading them. Now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Makes total sense. Um, my nana passed away after moving away and we didn't get to say goodbye. Do you know if she is okay? Hey, Brooke. Look, it's the thing is, is our loved ones are okay. And, and that's what I say. It's, it's us. And that's right. It was, it's, it's a process that we go through. It's what you need to do when, um, you're grieving as well. And you know what? That's why I always say enjoy life and enjoy every day. You don't know what's around the corner and you don't. How do you switch off? This would be so draining you are incredible um thanks jules uh, look you've got to and um a lot of my friends and um and family around me and people or even strangers that i meet they go dennis you need to look after yourself and and you know what it's um you do and and it is very draining and but it's just something that you've got to um get yourself ready for this and you, and you do like i said i've got reads tomorrow and i'll um have to and you have to switch off so once i finish this that's it it's phone down don't even look at messages it's it's just a relaxation mode and, and and you got to because it's just you get swamped and you do and unfortunately it's it does get crazy especially when you go to parties and people find out they just want to know no 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 and you know what it's about um being with your family and um spending spending the spending the time um with your family especially when you're out and that's something that i um i've always said as well but it's it's just basically yeah you've just got to um, um switch off and, and and you do um because once you're in in this moment like i am now you switched on and um you try to focus on what you need need to do and then you basically um, um switch off again Hey Jen, I just wanted to say that you are amazing what you said to myself last time about my daughter. I'll treasure treasure for her. No, not a problem at all. I do get a lot of people saying, hey, do you remember this? This Look, I see lots of people. Um, I had um, like 80 plus at the show on Tuesday and then I did reads again and I'm doing reads again tomorrow and um, see a lot of people during the week and um, it's 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 crazy and um, I appreciate all the messages and um, all the support through everyone. Um, like I said, it's I'm here to try and um, share my gift with you guys and touch as many hearts as possible. Can I book a reading with you from your website, Dennis? Sarah, yes, you can. If you go to my website, it'll take you to the link and then um, you can go through there. So, um, Vicky, where are you based? I'm based in Victoria, so um, the southeast. And um, it's, yes, yeah, so I do reads out of Nary Warren, but I also do phone reads as well. Hi Mac, I'm recently separated from and was wondering if my girls and I will be okay and um, yes you will be okay but it's you need to spend more time with them and focus on them as well because it's like there's a lot of attention being um, taken away from them and all they want is, is you around and um, I keep getting the month of September with you as well so that's coming through very very strong. Thanks guys for being on here. Really appreciate the, the questions that are um, coming through. Awesome as well. Um, is your wife also a medium? No, she isn't. 
Um, we've been together for 12 years now and um, when I first met her, I tried telling her what I do and she's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And um, I used to do, because we were in WA, so I used to do a lot of phone reads over here. So I was constantly um, on the phone. She's like, what is he doing? And um, one day she's uh, probably six six years in, she saw me do a read for someone and she's like, what? You never told me? And I was like, well, I tried to tell you and she didn't listen. So she's actually watching this right now. So, um, but she looked you've got to have a strong person behind you and somebody that really believes in you and and you know what um she's she's awesome she's the one that pushes me and um and believes in me in so much and um she probably believes in me more than what i do and you know without her i wouldn't be where i am today and she supported me from from day dot and yeah i'm very grateful and um you know and and, that, and that's what it is so hey donna um job Yes, tell him to stop being scared. Hi, Mac. What does this, um, December mean? So it could be a birthday or anniversary. So a loved one is just acknowledging it. And that's what I pick up September with you. So, yeah, it's it's, it's crazy. Hi, Wendy. So good to see your face, Dennis. Love you guys. Kisses to Renee and the kids. Hey, Wendy. Say hi to the family and John as well. And thanks for jumping on and supporting. So thanks for everyone for jumping on and supporting. And it's fantastic. Hey Sandra, how you going? Hi Deborah. Um, you refer to her often. That is so wonderful. Bless, bless your wife. Yeah, well, she's my best friend, and you know what? I, I love her to bits, and she's um, the biggest support. And and we're in this together. And uh, you know, and if I travel, I want her, uh, they they come and the kids come. So. No worries. Thanks. Thanks for being on here, um, guys. As well, appreciate it. If you, there's a lot of people interested in this um, personal breakthrough workshops over here in Victoria, and you know what? It's um, if you guys want to um, jump on and, and get involved, you know what? Inbox me, let me know. It's here in the um, in Nary Warren, and like I said, I've only got a few spots left, and it's crazy because it's selling out. I'm just looking; it's September the second, and um, yeah, I'm just getting a great response. And you know what? It's if you want to, um, if you're ready for change, you're ready to see what's holding you back, what's what's that past, and um, you, you, we always hold our emotions in here, and we do, and you know what, there's things that stop us, and our bodies are like computers, we can store that information, but um, and once we delete it, it's still there, and that's what I talk about as well, and you know, it's it's the fear that stops us pushing, and everyone can go through and um, and do whatever, and, and achieve, and we always go, oh, we haven't got enough money, we haven't got enough time, we haven't got this, they're all excuses, everybody can do what they want, and you know what, and challenges Yourself, you'll be surprised. We look forward to September. God bless you and your family. You are very lucky. No, thank you very much. I'm I'm lucky to meet um, such wonderful people on this journey as well. So, um, uh, the first thing that I get done is I want to have a smoke or cigarette, and that's what I get with um, Rick's dad as well. Draga, will I be happy with changes at work? Thanks. Um, you know what? You just need to go with the flow and there's always changes in life. And the one thing that we don't like as humans, we don't like changes. And um, because the reason being is we don't like to fail. Uh, you know what? You need to go with the flow and um, you just need to keep pushing through that fear and, and that's what you need to do. So, hey, Jade. Hey, Caroline. And, um, and you just need to keep going and keep pushing. So... Um, and that's the one thing is n nobody likes changes because it's the unknown and nobody likes to fail and that's what it comes down to. Um, Alexandra, good question. Is my parents still alive? My dad has passed away. He's been nearly passed nearly um, five years ago and um, five years in, in December. And unfortunately, doing this, you can't um, connect with... Um, Need you over here with me. Yes, I do, Caroline. Definitely. I am looking to come over to the to WA as well. So I'm um, thinking about you guys. Um, and I've got something, I don't know, with you, Caroline, as well. I get something with the heart. I don't know if somebody had an operation or a heart scare. Or um, The reason why I'm closing my eyes, I'm just trying to really um, focus on, on, on this as well. And um, please let me know about that as well. 
do you talk to your guides? No, my guides are around. Um, I'll just go back to, yeah, unfortunately I can't um, speak to my dad like uh, I, I can connect with your loved one. Sometimes I do feel him around, especially on my um, birthday. He was a smoker and there were cigarettes around. And um, I was like, babe, do you smell that? And she's like, no, no, no. And she goes, oh, your dad's around. So it was very, very strong and he was around. And But besides that, I can't get like a connection that I do for other people and um, I just, I've got a friend that I speak to and um, yeah, she passes on messages for me. So uh, just trying once more, can you see if we will get the loan, please? When it's questions like that, and I'll answer you, um, Michaela, as well. Um, it's not that I'm ignoring, uh, um, ignoring you. It's more so if I connect or, or, or um, see it as well. Um, the biggest thing is um, don't stress and I feel like there's only one signature away. So I've answered your question. Need to know if she comes through. So sorry. Oh, sorry, they're coming through very, very quick. When I say smoke, it's um, it was cigarette. And um, people do get um, upset at me, or because I didn't answer their question. The reason why I don't answer the question, guys, is I. It's only if I connect to it. And you know what? There's so many people on here and I can't um, be able to connect with, with everyone and unfortunately, and and that's just the way it, way it works and operates. But I do appreciate you guys being on here and listening as well. Thank you so much. Keep completely understand when you can't answer. Uh, you do understand, but a lot of people don't because they do get frustrated at me. So um, I'm all about positivity and um, I don't like negativity. So, you know, if I get anything negative on, on my um, page, I just delete it straight away. I'm quite, um, I'm very um, blessed to be able to have the people and the connections that I do um, on the page. And um, it's, it's awesome to see, you know, there's so much, like I was saying, and I always say it as well, it's easy to write a negative comment than a, than a positive comment or say something positive and, and it's very, very hard. And it's just like, you know what? It's it's hard to say, oh, well done, yeah, um, good job. But you know what? It's um, a lot of people need need to hear it because when you hear it, you feel good about yourself. And that's what it comes down to. And this is what I've learned. I've made the right decision in my new job. Emma, yes, you have. Stop being worried about it. Get woken up at night by spirits. No, you just, um, yes, I do get woken up by spirits. Um it's uh, pretty crazy. Like I'll wake up and my, and sometimes I scare my wife and um, you know what, it's, um, she's used to it now, but um, yes, yeah, spirits do wake me up. It's your loved ones that wake me up. Rob, you're a gun. Any energy feelings you get from me or my family? Um, the first thing that I get um, with you, Rob, like I get a lot of sadness. It's like you've got to um, change that mindset or or change that pattern. And I talk about pattern because it's very very strong, and um, that's what you need need to do. Like you know, people always ask me, "Is my life okay? Is this okay?" You need to change the situation. You need to change the pattern because you know what? You're just digging yourself into a hole. And I can say, "Yes, this is what's going to happen." Yes, I can see what's around the corner. But if you're not willing to work on yourself, then um, you're not going to get to where you want to be. And you know what? You'll be stuck. And, and that's where you um, will be as well. And, and that's where it comes from you. And that's why I always say, work on yourself, approve of yourself. And once you start feeling good, it's all about energy. Once you've got good energy around you and good energy with yourself, things will start coming in and they will. Orbs, my mum sees heaps in her room. What are, or they are, they're coming. So, um, yeah, so orbs are basically spirits. So if you do see them, and, um, and that's what some people get them um, mistaken by, you know, a bit of dust or like if you take photos and, um, but the biggest thing is, is to sage your house and um, you need white American sage. Hey, Julia, how are you going? You need white um, American sage to get those um, energies out as well. If you don't feel good or you feel like it's, hi, Tanya, how are you going? If you, you feel like they're a bad spirit or a bad energy, sage. Even before I do a show or even before I do um, to come on tonight, I'll um, actually sage myself as well just to clear my mind and clear um, any negativity around. I've actually got a candle next to me sitting here, guys. Yep. Um, it's just my re relaxation as well. And um, hi, Tanya, how you going? Um, 
Lena, I uh, miss my dad so much. Is he around us? Uh, doing an awesome job. The first thing that I get with him is like, I feel like I want to have a, um, a cup of tea or a coffee. And, uh, and this is like what, what he's missing as well. The signs is music, music, music. If you keep playing music or his music comes on, that's him. This is how a loved one, people go, oh, they want to be able to see or, or, or feel them because as humans, when we see something and we feel comfortable, we can touch it, we can hold on to that. And it's like this bottle of water, we can see it and we can feel it. And, and we know it's it's there. It's like our loved one. Our loved ones are around, and um, like they come through as butterflies, birds, um, like I said, music, or even um, initials. You know what? They are around. They even like people say, "Oh, I don't feel anything." I said, "Well, you're sitting in the room with myself, and I'm passing on um, uh, messages as well." So you, you know what, guys? Your loved ones are there. They'll my. My Facebook page will pop up on your page. Your loved ones are communicating in that way, and that's what we need to understand as well. So. Thanks guys for being on here. I'm really enjoying it tonight. It's just, um, it's like I want to go for two or three hours, but um, I've got to rest as well because I've got um, reads and the guys that, um, that I'm doing reads for will want me to um, rest as well. It's coming through quick. Uh, I often smell my mum's scent in the house. I'm renting. If I move, yeah, if you move, she'll come with you. There's there's no difference. Uh, they're basically around and they'll always be around. So they'll um, travel and, and go where you need need to go as well and they'll always be around you. <laughs> Highlight of the week for... That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm very, I feel very blessed and honoured to be able to do this. And people say, why you? I don't know. Ask the man upstairs, why me? And, you know, there's so many times that I've tried walking away from this and, and I have, but um, I just get pulled back and something that I'm really enjoying. And it, like I said, it's not an easy path. It's not. And um, in this role, you've got to sit there and, um, hey, Darren, how you going? You've got to sit there and take the criticism and take the negativity as well. But you've also got to um, remember the positive stuff that you do. And um, when you walk away and, and knowing you've done something good, and that's what you've got to really keep in mind. And, and that's why um, you're dealing with a lot of people and a lot of people's um, emotions. And, and you know what, that's where you've got to um, really protect yourself and, and get yourself right too and be strong for that. Hey, Melissa, do spirits age like us? So what spirits do, and, and um, this is my opinion and what I've um, seen as well, is when somebody passes, say if they're in their 50s, they'll probably come back at their 30s. They always come back at their best years. And um, it's just like, I get this question asked a lot, what well, but if they're like um, a baby, how do they, sometimes they come through like as an eight year old um, child and um, it's that how they um, come across as well, but they'll always come, they come across at their best years and, and that's um, how they come across and that's what I've seen um, over the time as well. Desperate for your amazing gifts. Oh, thanks, Nessie, I really appreciate it, so. Gifts, do you feel less scared of death knowing uh, there is afterlife or being able to communicate with those? Yeah, I was, um, it's funny because I I was pretty skeptic to all this and um, and then I started doing it at an early, early age and I was like, oh, there's, there's something to it. And um, yeah, doing this, you get more of an understanding of the afterlife and you know what, I'm not, it's not that you're scared and, um, or, or if I'm scared, I know there's there's something else beyond this, and, and there is, and I always joke around with people and say, hey, is your loved one's gonna be up there waiting for me and say, this is what I was trying to say, or you didn't understand me, and um, yeah, so it's just like you do get more of an understanding, and with me, I always try to make it easier for people or a healing process as well, and um, because the biggest um, thing is as well, when we lose someone, we, we grieve, um, and um, like I was saying earlier, everybody grieves differently, and they do, and I can't tell you how to do that sorry i just got something up so um yeah am i um scared no but I, I know there's something after this and that's why i always say to people enjoy and do the things that you love and enjoy because that's um that's very important how old was i when i started to see spirits i started seeing spirits when i was um three years old so um 
basically I saw like these ghostly spirits underneath the door and um, and they came underneath the door and it was so, so strong. And like, I remember running to my parents and being three, like my son's nearly three. So that's pretty um, scary. And, and that's when it first started for me. So. Hey Mia, I posted last week about a card reading that told me I couldn't have children well a week on and I have a very doctor's awesome. Yeah, um, we, yeah, look, I just shake my head at some of Will Collingwood win this grand final. No, but I know they'll get more teeth, Darren, so, um, because you guys need them. Um, look, when people go to other people and um, I do cringe, the reason being is, is, is the things that, um, people come and tell me and I was and I just I do shake my head and and you know what that's why I say to people always be skeptic out there the reason being is is because there's a lot of fake people out there and there is and and you know what you've like I was saying earlier you've got to um, be able to connect and trust the person that you go to that's why I always say to people leave reviews or um, it's not for me it's it's helping you guys out there because you guys jump on um, hi and how you going same last name um, yeah, you, you guys um, go in there, check the reviews, and I always say to people, check the reviews, check the check the videos. It's not for me to um, turn non-believers into believers or, or anyone out there. Or um, yeah, you just got to really um, trust out there. But um, look, it's yeah. When when people do come to me, I do cringe, and that's probably the best thing that that I can say. So above your head, your video, yes. Uh, it was it just caught my eye and that was after reads that I posted so um, I was talking to a lady about her mum and um, yeah it was just the spirit just flew over my head so hi Michelle would love to have a reading with you awesome thank you how do you pick a good medium I go to those shows where there are heaps and find it hard to pick um, I'll be honest I stay away from them and I do it's um, the way to pick a um, medium or to pick someone that you really want to truly go to, read the reviews, read people's, um, hi Maria, how you going? Uh, and you know, look at their videos and um, that's that's how you pick people. Uh, and you know, referrals is a big thing. Hey Sarah, what's the waiting time like for a reading please, Dennis? Uh, you're looking at a couple of months. The reason being I open up more dates to do more reads, but um, as I'm doing more shows, it's gonna be push back, push back. So you've gotta go onto um, my page and have a look as well when when you can jump on them and um, book, book now. <laughs> um, don't go to anyone else, just go to Dennis, thank you. <laughs> Um, beautiful question, Brooke. Do spirits move on or do they stay around or do they come back in another life? What happens is, you know, if the way that I'm reading that question is do they move around? Um, if you move somewhere or go somewhere, they will. They do their other things on the other side and and, and they do. But um, like people go, will I be able to connect with them uh, like 20 years down the track? Yes, you can. Um, I will refer you 100%. Thank you. Um, yeah, and they do so. Do spirits move around? Yeah, they they do move around as well. So, um, but it's like if if your loved ones are around, that they'll always come back and connect. So, you should come to Phillip Island or surrounds. Hey Tanya, yes, I'm coming to Phillip Island. I'm at Phillip Island on the 24th of August. So, um, the tickets are booking out fast. That's going to um, and uh, look, tickets are nearly sold out there. So it's just been crazy. Karen, hi Dennis. I was at your show Tuesday night. Don't read me, but I was wondering if my husband has spoken to you. Um, hi, Karen. Look, unfortunately, I'm sorry that he didn't come through on the night. And um, did he speak to me? I, I don't get any. Like I say, it's out of my. I might sound like a broken record, but it's just like they don't. They'll come to me. So. Um, Yeah, so, yeah, look, I was just reading another question there, so sorry. Thanks, guys. It's been, um, yeah, guys, great. Like I said, I just want to keep going because um, all these um, questions are coming through, so. 
I do need to turn away because I want to try and um, answer everybody's questions and, and have a look on um, on there as well. Hi, I think I'm saying the name. Saying um, you delete, um, you adopted, and your biological parents um, um, passed away. Look, I've had a lot of cases like that where. Um, People have tried to connect with their biological um, family and or, or their um, parents as well, and something that um, I've done, yes, definitely, and um, they are um, they are around as well. Am I getting anything tonight? And I'll be honest, no. It's like like I said, it's out of my control who comes through. So, do you have one reason in particular that just stays with you always? That stays with me personally always. Do I have one reason? Um, the way that I'm reading into that, uh, the only reason or, or what I always say is, is basically, look, I can only read or what, what comes to me. So, um, and, and it's just like a lot of people say to me and, and they, um, thank you so much. Not a problem. A lot of people say to me, it's like, how hard is it to try and read or connect with people on here? And it is, it's just like, you can't, and you, you want to try and, um, be able to give a read, um, to everyone and um, you, you know what it's it's it is so difficult but it's something like I sit here and people love to listen it's like a show not everyone gets a connection and um, some people go there because they want to experience they want to see it other people get connections and sometimes we want it so much and so badly and, and we do um, but unfortunately things don't come come through and you know what we do get disappointed or we want to um, connect to a loved one and you know what I'll give you an example when I did a show um, the other week in, in Brighton and and you know what I, I went to these two ladies and I went straight to them and I said your uncle's passed um, he's here tonight and he passed off a heart attack and he loves food and they said no nah, we don't have an uncle I said yes you do and he passed of a heart attack. No, no, no. So I kept staying and they were like, no, no, no. The reason why they it didn't register, they were just so caught up and they wanted to connect with their sister. And this is what people um, people do. And then five minutes later, they said, oh, yeah, we did have an uncle. And I said, how did he pass? They said, oh, a heart attack. I said, okay, um, well, there you go. We just get so caught up. We want to hear something and, and we miss those um, um, pieces as well. So, you know, hey, Borbo, how you going? So Borbo was just drawn to joined on here and I was talking earlier about the Hope Walk on September the, the 10th. Please get down there guys. It's um, Suicide Prevention Week. A lot of us have gone through it or you know somebody that's um, committed suicide. Uh, you know what? Come down. It's at um, um, Packenham and you've got to register. Please go to Hope, Hope Walk and on Facebook and register. It's from 10 to 1. Um, it's a great event um, that she's putting up as well. So love watching this. It's amazing. You're amazing. Thanks Brookie. I appreciate it. How does do you see Hello, oh, coming up. Gina. Hey, Gina. Um, the first thing that I get is, is the States. I don't know if you if you go into the States or something to do with the States, I get States straight away. So um, I don't know what the connection is there, but that's coming through very, uh, very strong for me. Definitely will be going to that see you there as i was saying guys yeah i've got um uh, what's coming up for me we're in august now so i've got my preston show um I'll, that'll probably be my last one for a few months there so i've done the last um two there has been sold out so guys if you're looking um at the preston show please get on there and um there is um tickets still available phillip island looks like it's going to be sold out i'm just looking at the calendar on the 24th of august which is great, and then um, I've got my workshop coming up on the 2nd of um, September, so September's a really busy month as well, but um, hope you guys are enjoying this tonight as much as I am, and just love it. Hi Candice, hubby is struggling with his career, can you see any future prospects for him, please? It's been so rough. I always say, if, if it's something or something's bringing you down, you need to change, and that's what I feel like him. He needs to change. It's like, would you take a knife and stab yourself? No, you won't because it'll hurt or kill you. And the, and the biggest thing is is you need to change. If you're unhappy, you need to get out and make that difference, but it's only you that's going to make that change. And I was saying earlier, it's all about energy. So if you shift it to positive energy, you're portraying that out, and it's going to um, come back as well. And, and um, yeah, tell him to hang in there as well.
Hi Roxanne, um, what's involved in a workshop? So what's involved is there's three things that control us. It's our past fear and emotions, so uh, emotions, and it's being able to approve of who you, who you are as a person. It's like, why am I feeling like this? Why am I stuck? Why am I battling so much? Because as we self-sabotage, we make so many excuses. And the reason why I've designed this is because of over the um, 18 years of doing it, and I've seen a pattern in people's life, so I've put this um, workshop together, and that's what it's what it's about. And you know, if you're ready to make a change and um, please jump on or even inbox me. Um, I'll talk to you personally more about it. Uh, and um, if it's for you, it's for you. And um, and I don't force people to, um, to do it either. So um, if you wanna jump on, jump on. No worries, Candace. Hi, Jazz, does my aunt give me signs? Like I've been saying all night tonight, guys, um, our loved ones do give us signs. Um, with you, I feel like there's a butterfly and that's a strong connection coming through. Hi, Amanda. Don't <laughs> your daughter feel um, disappointed um, if your mum's around. Loved ones will hang around and they, and they will. And um, it's so much that we want messages from them or, or we want to... Um, and that's what you need to say with, with your daughter. And I always say to people, it's if you feel like your loved one or you feel it's them, and you can also show your kids and say, Do, is this what you um, is this what you see? Um, and you know what, our loved ones are around. Like I said, my dad's around, and uh, unfortunately, I can't connect in the way that I do. Um, I have to go to someone. Can you? Can you please say hi to my dad? Look, Sandra, everyone can say hi to their loved ones. They do here, um, and they are around. Jazz, happy tears, thank you. I have a butterfly tattoo for her. Well, there you go. Amanda, why do all the good ones taken so not fair, right? Definitely, I totally agree. And something that I always say to people is like, why the good ones? It's like they live their life or they've lived their um, um, journey and, and they have. And it's just like, um, and I, I'm a big believer in karma and, and things happen um, for a reason as well. With the karma, it's like uh, you've got to put all the um, the good back as well. But it's it's like that that saying is why do the good ones get? It's like they've lived their life, they've lived their journey as well and, they, and they're quite um, happy and content and, and they are. But it's just like we're going through a journey and, and everybody's got a purpose on life. And you know what? When your time's up, your time's up. Hey guys, um, I just want to say um, thank you so much for jumping on tonight. I really appreciate it. I love doing the live feeds and being able to connect or um, answer your questions for you as well. Um, as I was saying earlier, it's basically I won't be able to answer all your um, questions as well. So once I finish this, um, that's it. I do get inbox. I do get um, messages as well. So I just want to thank you so much for your time and hope you en enjoy the night. I will... Um, see the guys tomorrow for um, privates that I haven't seen before. And also I'm looking forward to, like I was saying, Preston, jump on guys. I don't know how long I'm gonna be there. So, um, you know, thank you so much. I'm gonna go and rest because I've got a big day um, tomorrow. I just wanna say thank you um, to everyone and enjoy the rest of your weekend and um, see me soon on here. Thanks guys.